I've done a lot of live television, and strange things can happen on a live TV show. What would happen after, every time I would do a big show, everyone's manager or agent would call me and say how good I did and what a great job I did and how much they liked it. And then after five minutes of blowing smoke you know where, they would say, oh, and by the way, Glenn, can so-and-so have the chart? Which means that we paid for the chart, but they can have it for the nightclub act. And we, it's fine, we, we did it all the time. And it was, happened so often, I would just say, you know, to a certain such manager that, yes, you can have the chart, we don't have to go through it. Yes, it's, it's fine. However, there was one time we were on a live TV show, I'll tell you the TV show. It was, uh, I think, the 60th birthday of Quincy Jones, or 60th tribute of his show business. And we had one wonderful artist, and I did a wonderful chart for her for one of the songs. And she finished singing, and I was conducting the next number going on, and I see something happening. And it was that star's assistant crawling in the bandstand on live TV, pulling the chart off the stand so she could make sure she gets it. And I whispered, I said, I'll send it to you. I'll even give you during commercial. Just stop doing that. That was, I thought, pretty, pretty funny. Another <laughs>